all spiritual people are introverted rarely make a stand as the clock moves forward through the day because they're always waiting they're always a little bit reticent not because they can't handle any circumstance in the world but because they're kind they're gentle they're true to god to the side of existence that they live within and forever and today we're going to change all of that by understanding and that will be able with that we'll be able to afford all of us a life an entire lifetime of true happiness will come out of our shell we are spiritual presences in a hell uh, they call it an illusion in Sanskrit and so forth and all the mystics if you read the stories of them they're they're in rapture and it has absolutely nothing to do with this world it's always an ecstatic state within it you have the confidence of the entirety of the Godhead of this infinite universe it's spilling over with ecstasy joy happiness and a concrete knowledge of eternity and because they're so contrite meaning humble when they're incarnate as it were uh, they're not listened to their teachings are not really adhered to at all and we change that today by understanding how to change that So of course we're humble and kind and true and we have all these healing graces we can be completely quiet and kind with people that are in need and we can uh, reach superhuman heights of awareness and courage at the drop of a hat when when it's absolutely necessary and today let's take that one step further And the cry that it's absolutely necessary to not be introverted, to not be so utterly humble and contrite that we're going to allow the dark force to overtake the entire world that we're involved with, where our mom lives and our family and our friends. So we're going to step out of our shell on behalf of those that we care for, those that we love, those that we honor, that are still somewhat trapped in the, the web of deceit that this unconscious world is. If you know, you can look Satan in the eye. All will be well. I've done... Uh, many years of listening to people with problems because I can be completely quiet if you talk to any of the spiritual people in your life my friend Annette here completely self-contained quiet erudite one has to be capable you'll never hear a squeak or certainly a scream from her about anything she's just very healing with animals people and reality but she'll never make one stand for herself it's an interesting way to be it's the best way for a spiritual person to survive this life I've done it all my life and I'm not willing to do it beyond this morning and it's uncomfortable to take the step outside of yourself I have my buddy uh, Pedro Mink Bomfield he's my jiu-jitsu teacher he's right in the room behind us working out and teaching and uh, so with him I found a friend who's illumined spiritually who experiences all this wonder and joy of eternity and yet makes his life work in the outward sense so uh, through a dedication and a fearlessness that's uh, quite inspiring and has inspired me and that's part of my motivation and all these things come together every aspect of your life every moment in my life a, a moment I can be aware of endless visions of eternity 
certainly had them all night. I have them every night. I've had them every night. And at the same time, you live to this appalling ingratitude of this world that you give and you do and you try and you achieve and you work hard and steadfast and you get almost nothing back in return. If you're spiritual, you know exactly what's being said. So Annette can be self-contained and therefore doesn't have to give up any ground, but gets nothing from it or for it except the joy of the healing nature of her heart and soul that brings to light the higher nature of all the people and animals that she <laughs> rescues throughout the given day. I'll move through this process so we can see how we can step out of our cocoon and uh, fly like my friend Pedro does, the judicio instructor. Despite all those clairvoyant sensibilities and sensitivities, we're going to step out of our shell today by understanding what this means and how to do it. They say, I've listened to people, which means you don't react at all if you care, if you're there for someone, or if you're there for a child, you're just a little baby, you, you're completely conscious, and you don't move a muscle. Nothing twitches. When I work with people, I'm quiet, I'm there for them. Compl all your senses, my mind is trained, there are 20 different levels of emotion that people go through, and they're psychological, my mind is simply not there. I'm listening with a very pure and kindly intent. And no matter what's said, or if there's something there's healing need, there was a young lady at the front desk, her knee was injured for a couple of weeks and she was complaining and she looked at me and asked and I said, so I reached down and, and just before I touched it, she said the pain went away. These things happen all the time. want the pain to go away in your life. We meaning those who live for you. Those who are thus gone, in other words, <laughs> called the Tathagata in, in Buddhism, the, those who have disappeared back into the living light, into the light living, through meditation, prayer, and they simply return to their original state of wonder joy and happiness and fulfillment that is here always and forever it's called heaven it's called god it's called uh, samadhi enlightenment illumination the beatific vision the vision of god and it's really the vision of you as we step out of our shell back into our original condition which is illumination which is a fearless place and today we're going to learn how to use some of our gifts so that we don't have to take it anymore. We're going to become witnesses, not victims. First of all, we have to know there's a God and we can feel this. We can feel God. We can feel you. You are this atmosphere. You're not a body running around scaring, trying to make it in this world and fight the different forces in the socio-political atmosphere. You know what's being said. It's not worthy of addressing that. If you believe, you can become what my buddy is next door here, a fulfilled human being in the world 
without fear. Isn't that amazing? No fear. In other words, not afraid, but you don't know how to step into circumstances. I can step into almost any circumstance, not just because I have a big mouth, but because I have a big heart. Even though I don't have a heart or a mouth or a body or a mind or emotions, I was never born. I can never not die. I've known that always, every moment of this existence. Know that every moment of your existence you're not at the effect of this world, the effect. If you're spiritual you're not going to be busy about the things of the world. You're not going to take it seriously. You're going to be busy about the things of the spiritual world, which is infinite divine presence always here. This is how all the visions spoken of in the Apocrypha and the uh, in the scripture at the end where talk about the fact there'd be pain no longer and you'd witness the New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven in the last days. If we don't look up, we can't look around. And if we do look up, truly, not in a religious, in a spiritual way, up is here. God is here. You're looking at God. God is looking at you. Allow God to look out from you, for you, with you. No more fear. No more worry. No more pain. No more tears. There's great dignity and wonder to this. At the same time, be the child, the happy person that you are. The lovely healer that Annette is to animals in such horrible conditions that she can be with them every moment for years and sometimes. And, and before they pass, if they're in that poor condition, they'll be completely healed and at one with her and God in heaven. The way we're going to help the elderly, elderly in our life, my sisters, they're all, um, I don't want to see anyone die in a hospital anymore. I knew when I was a young Marine, I couldn't visit one more naval hospital last buddy I saw with a part of a leg missing and they're just laying alone in some goddamn room. So I knew then I had to do this. At the battlefield was one of souls. When I saw the hundreds of bodies and the souls were completely alive and with me for the way I live and see, and you'll find this in stories of war and so forth, and of every arena of existence that everyone's aware there's something beyond something more and what's being said now is come out of your shell slowly quietly and quickly and live in fear no more we will be with you to the end of time. You're not alone, you never were. Don't be introverted anymore. Understand that all the, the orchestration of the people around you that don't, are not attending to you or no one really listens to you, understand that that's wrong. 
and the answers to how to turn this circumstance inside out will come to you. You're not alone. You'll never be alone. You never were. It's said that the greatest trick the devil ever played was to convince you that he doesn't exist. Well, he does exist, but it doesn't mean anything. There's nothing to it. It's a matter of perception. I don't believe the world is here. So it's not going to be here for me anymore, ever. Because I've had it not for me, Robert Rosenberg. I don't care about me. I never did. And that's been the problem. I have to admit what I am so that you can be who you are, which is all I ever wanted. It's got nothing to do with me. It has to do with my mom and your mom. You understand? This must end. If you understand it's no more than temptation, and the walls will collapse, literally. In the beginning, figuratively. You'll have visions here after this, here and there, where all reality will change as though there's an earthquake and you don't know what to do. You sit in your chair and all of a sudden five hours go by and it seemed like 10 seconds. It's falling apart. Because I wish it so. Stand with me. Please wish it so. Your mom, your friend, your love, your sisters, your brothers, your buddies. You understand? When you're together, I've been with, like when I'm with Pedro next door, the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu champion. He was a woman. And all these great fighters are there, and it's, you're like one person. It's a brotherhood. And it's completely spiritual because there's humility. I was with my Marine Corps friends, even my friends in South Philly growing up. When we were tight, we were tight. When I see Annette, the world doesn't exist because she's selfless. I'm asking you to please join the Holy Ones. I will give you their friendship if you'll give me yours. And I'm not here. In this world, everything that God is is yours. Everything that will be, all the wonders of that which is uncreated are yours. Use your gifts wisely. We're very subtle, but the only way to meet what's happening in this world head on, and then I, even for me to say that is, see, that's painful. Because I don't believe in it. I never did. So if you talk to people that are truly spiritual, they're living in a different world, a different consciousness. I don't see walls as walls or bodies as bodies. I look at a net, I see a soul. I look at my buddy Greg here, I, I see a child. In the spiritual sense, the humility, kindness, a depth of bearing that normal people don't carry themselves with. My buddy Pedro, his wife, Elodie, she's my, uh, what do you call it, mentor. She's an esteemed uh, uh, epidemiologist. 
but at night you'll find her in uh, sometimes Buenos Aires or Miami or certainly New York. She wants to, her passion is to be a DJ. So she, her name is Elogie, E-L-O-G-I-E. So she's, these are my mentors. And because I don't want my mentors, my friends, my family, your family, your children, your pets, to feel separate anymore, to wait for some illness to pass, or to wait to pass. There is no passing, there is no illness, there is no pain. That there be pain no more, that the mystery of God should be finished. That's in the Revelation. And I, John, saw the New Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven. Remember? The New Jerusalem means the, the holy center of, etern of eternity. But these words don't matter. It's that you allow the walls of your perception to open up. And everything will be as it is, infinite, perfect, permanent. And there are oceans and oceans and constellations and galaxies. New, uh, new undreamt of dimensions of glory. I, Robert Rosenberg, have felt them all my life. And I'm tired of not acknowledging that and having to be a part of everyone's life around me. Tear down these walls. Free yourself. Free me from having a look at this. Me meaning the millions of people like Annette in our world who are spiritual. Like Elegy, E-L-O-G-I-E. -E, or Pedro Mink Baumfeld, the uh, champion, I like guess a national champion jiu-jitsu fighter and many times and world champion. He, he's illumined and so we go out to all these where you look like big tough men that are professional this or that the other and fighters and wrestlers and just uh, like like children. He, he can have two and a half year old children or almost 80 year old men and they're all rolling around together and it's a happiness you there because there are no 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 boundaries in his mind to his heart because his heart owns his world. My friend Baba Bating in India did that through giving away his mind, his body, his soul. And I was disappointed that no one knew. And I was there, I ran a conference for all these famous teachers and all, and writers and gurus, and, and that no one knew that he was the real thing because he, he was nobody to him. So he was just being nice. But he was providing the subtle miracles that you would go to India at that time for. So I want to do this for him, even though he's here now doing this. We're all one person. And your individuality, your artistic endeavor, your love life, it's all magical. You know, when you fall in love or you have a new puppy or achieve some great goal, it's, you reach a pinnacle of perception or happiness or joy and ecstasy. And beyond all that, as I've said in the beginning, you like, have so many different emotions, they're, cha they're trained so I can be with different people at different times, use all these manifold gifts to help, to heal, to be with, and they'll come to you, they'll come to you. I will be with you. God will be with you. There's no more time to wait. The how, there is a way to handle any circumstance will come to you in that moment. There's no fear. There's just how to bring the next person in from the cold, right? Into the warmth of my heart, your heart. 
We're not there anymore. We're here. And here we'll stay until this is gone and it's in perception. And if that's difficult to understand, then that represents a wasted life. To not see that, to not know that, to not perceive. that Father God is with you and will be with you to the end of time. I've seen Annette heal everything around her. I've seen Pedro or L-O-G-E, L-O-G-I-E. She does this beautiful music. <laughs> and uh, inspires me because she's... Uh, the number one person I like to see brought out of this because she has such enormous sensibilities and, and understand that there's nothing wrong with her but she'd rather be alone. Many spiritual people are depressed not because there's something wrong with them. They're just not happy with the reality that people in the world are forced to live within. I'm unforcing it, unenforcing it today on your behalf. So you look Satan in the eye, and if you don't do it, there's no, all these perceptions, they talk about the mental, emotional, there are all these different, I have a thousand different ways of dealing with it within me quietly as one person, and we all do, so There's something called humility, and within yourself, you can turn that inside out. We talked about it like, uh, what do you call those dark stars? Uh, whatever, the, when you fall inside out, you turn yourself inside out. This won't be, it's all in perception. And I think that's all. Do you understand? Pay it no heed, give it no mind, give, give it, it's... The world is no longer relevant. Your heart, your soul, is relevant. In other words, the world doesn't exist to the spiritually illumined. It never did. If you're spiritual in your world today, you're here voluntarily, you felt something in the infinity of the universe was out of whack, and you allowed yourself to be absorbed completely into this through that trajectory called birth. You might have had several incarnations. I know what mine were, and just to be an individual, because to communicate this has to be a person. It's so infinitely. non-existent. So that's why those of us who are spiritual have given ourselves to it to try to help those that are lost in it. Even though they're not the size of, of the smallest subatomic particle, they're infinitely less than that. I say this as one illumined out of millions that Look through it, beyond it. Pay it no heed. Heal the loving ones. Be kind to the dear ones. Live in fear no more. I am with you. You are with God. The presence you feel is yours. It's your soul.
believe in God all day, all the answers on how to will come to you. It'll happen in that moment. Don't worry about the words you'll, you'll need, the hug that'll be required, the pat on the back, My buddy Pedro pulled me out of, it's time for me to stop being so subtle and so contrite because I know the destiny is to end all the insanity. So he gave me a little push over the edge. So you give someone else a push. Pull them up out of the madness. We don't have to live like this. We're meant to be fully human, fully spiritual. We are divine beings. There's nothing wrong with you. This is the hour of your illumination. Again, whatever you need, no matter where you are, what time of the day or night or circumstance, it will come to you. I knew when people were actively trying to hurt me that I couldn't be killed. I'm simply saying that as one of the instances of so many in my life where I've had to be Robert. It's so tiring. I'm doing it for my mom, for your mom, for their mom, for Nets friends, Though she heals for allergy, for Pedro, for all the good people and teachers of my life. My primary teacher was Kathleen, a young lady 50 years ago, who taught me humility. Even though I was illumined and couldn't be more humble divinely, you'll see people in your life that'll pop up here and there that will the circumstance in the world will, this is part of what I said, God will be with you at every moment. Things will work out and show you how this all comes together and how we'll work together. And then the madness. When I work with different spiritual community, communities or martial arts, you can, you can achieve anything. I was with a spiritual community one time, I guess Hindu type, and six or eight people, men and women were like, carry things that were, uh, you know, like weigh a ton and carry it like it was good with fun. It's like the mother who lifts a car because a child's caught under it. And these things happen. And what I'm saying is uh, this will happen completely in your consciousness from this hour forward. You're free. Please feel it. Know this and carry it forward. I will be with you always. We're not mortals, we're not trapped. You'll never be alone. In the initial stages, when the dark force tries to mess with you, just There's no words because it is nothing. I'm tired of being alone in this fight. Lift your cross. The Star of David. You'll find a bag of perfect diamonds within it hidden and each represents a spiritual universe that's what's inside you that's what's in store for you God is an infinite spiritual universe you are an infinite spiritual universe nothing can hurt you
nothing and no person or being or presence or circumstance or thing or machine or planetary orb has power over you because it never was. We have to go completely directly into the Godhead to free our friends and loved ones. God will be with you. You are a holy presence. No longer a body bag. Do you know what I'm saying? Please understand. Please move forward gently and powerfully with faith. And I will be with you forever. I can no longer contain myself. I'm begging you to no longer contain yourself within this thing. Everything that God is, is yours. It's not for someone else. The great miracles, the great wonder and joy of eternity. Is yours. You gave yourself to this cause. Today you're free to live it completely because we must. Free all those you love. And I will be with you forever. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sculthan.